How is it possible to scale a miniature up and save some resin at the same time? Here's three ways to do it. Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Julia and in this video I will show you how it is possible to scale STL files up that already have support and more suitable processes in order to save some resin. Here at Loot, our members receive the project and files in two pre-supported scales, 32 and 75 mm. We also have statues that we offer as loyalty rewards every three months for loyal subscribers. But every model we create, we want to print it larger than the original scale. Up to when we launched the statue of the famous Lutumus, our one-year loyalty reward statue, we decided that it would be the perfect opportunity to learn what the process would be to create the biggest possible piece that would fit on the printers. You have probably seen the full montage video of this model and how amazing that was. If not, we put the link in the description so you can watch after this video. So yes, it's possible to increase the scale of the pieces and create bigger models, even without removing the supports that we have already placed for you. Of course, there are some limitations, but we will show you the processes that we think are the best to save some resin and maintain the printability. Today, we're going to show you how to get the 75 scale model to scale up a few sizes so you can understand the processes that succeeded in our tests. Well, the first option is the simplest. Just take the hollow model with support and increase the scale for printing. However, this generates a piece with thicker wall support and raft much more rigid and thick that will mark more and will use more resin. The second option to increase the scale is to use a solid object. This way, we increase the scale to the desired one without worrying about the thickness of the supports and then we make the piece hollow so that the wall of this piece can be 2mm, the standard thickness we use here at Loot. This allows us to save a fair amount of resin. The third option is more complex and it's not an exact science. Errors can occur because a change would be made to the original project made by the Loot team, where we test until we have the guarantee of a flawless print. The idea here is to modify the supports created initially to make them thinner, so when the scale is made on a solid print, it will be possible to have a large part with thinner supports. And after increasing the scale, we can make the part hollow, reducing the material consumption. There are limitations in relation to the size that the printer prints. It may be necessary to cut the prints into smaller parts to make an even bigger model. As always, we will show you a simple process on how to make these cuts. But that's enough of the theory. Let's take a look at the difference in each of these possibilities. Let's use the helper. This little robot, which is a pet of the security weighted bot from the welcome pack and our sci-fi subscription. The helper is very small, we will scale it up to 300% to exemplify three types of processes to show you the difference. In the first option to increase the scale, we can see that the difference is relatively small because the hollow piece has very thick walls. The 75 helper prints in approximately 2 hours and is so small that it only uses 2.3 grams of material. Very little, but we will notice the difference if you scale it up to 200%. The volume of a piece is measured in cubic meters. That is, when we increase the size of resin used by 2 times in a solid model, it becomes almost 19 grams in just under 3.5 hours. If the original file has hollow, it would have spent 17 grams of resin. To have another comparative, by increasing 300%, the printer would spend 63 grams in a solid piece in approximately 5 hours. If the file was hollow, it would use 59 grams of resin. The simple fact of creating the hollow piece after making the scale creates a more considerable economy of resin. 
In fact, we can even lower the piece on the table to reduce the thickness of the raft that was also increased. This way, we won't waste resin in this part that we will throw away. In the second scaling technique, we increased the helper by 200%. As we left it hollow, after increasing the scale, we needed to add supports internally to the part, which can be done automatically in the Lychee program. It works very well most of the time for these internal areas with normal or high density. In the 200% enlarged file, the 17 grams of resin spent in the first method now consumes almost 12 grams, saving approximately 30%. Now, increasing to 300%, which consumed 59 grams of resin with the original hollow file, it started to spend almost a 40 grams, a considerable saving in material. We must remember that in this format, where we are leaving the 3D model hollow, we must add holes to drain the resin and reduce suction during printing. The smallest hole we use here at LUT is at least 3 mm. They must be added in less visible and easy to cover places. Mainly, that has to be done in an area of model that is closer to the platform. In future videos, we can go over the steps in the process of preparing the files. Well, now is the option to increase the scale that allows you to further reduce the use of resin in larger pieces. In the third case, we have some trivial steps that involve calculating the proportion that we should decrease the supports. But in the original project, we have several supports with different configurations. Therefore, any individual change is practically unfeasible. Therefore, we will select all supports and we will consider the greatest contact between the support and the part, as well as the standard pillar thickness to facilitate the process. First, we have to define what scale we would like, for example. If we increase 200%, then we know that the 1mm diameter column would now have 2mm. That is, if we want the 200% scale model to have support columns of 1mm, we should first decrease the abutment diameter by half, including reducing the contact with the part. The results of increasing the part to 200% was 12 grams of resin. The model was still solid and making it hollow, it would have spent almost 9 grams of resin, having a reduction of 17 grams to 9 grams, practically half if we compare with the first process of increasing the scale. Increasing it to 300%, the solid model would spend 35 grams and the hollow would only have 23 grams. This technique requires some testings and calculations, and probably a review of the brackets. As we have increased the scale by a large percentage, the supports that were initially designed and tested for a small model may be fragile for a much larger part, so it may be necessary to add some extra supports to secure printing. But if your concern is to reduce the use of resin a little and that you would also like to make bigger pieces, there are the techniques we have tested so far. Have you ever done this in any other way? Leave in the comments the results you already had. If you want to enlarge the 3D model by one size and it doesn't fit in your printing area, there's the possibility of making cuts in the model with supports. Of course, it's not always ideal but it works in some cases. The same helper, if we increase to 400%, one of the robot's legs would be outside the print area, and in this case, there are several programs to perform a cut. Here at LUT, we use the ZBrush program to create and modify all 3D models, but to exemplify, we'll show you how it's done in 3D Builder on Windows 10. These programs allow you to make a simple plain cut. This way, we have two files already supported, but due to the cut, it's interesting to review and probably add some more supports to ensure the quality of the part and the current area. 
the more we increase the file, the heavier it is. Also, a graded area of contact with the fab generates greater suction and effort for the printer during printing. We did these three processes to increase the scale in Glutamus, one of the loyalty rewards from our medieval fantasy subscription, where we increased the model of the statue by 170%, which would be approximately 1,500% of the 32mm piece. But it is worth remembering, although the models are made with a high level of detail, for the 3D printing process, a mesh reduction is done basically to make the final file size lighter, since a single original file can weigh a few gigabytes. So there is a quality limit when we increase mainly 32mm models. That's because they are very small, so we end up having a smaller mesh. Therefore, the best way to increase the models is to use the largest available scale. We decided to make an even bigger piece in our Mona X, so we increased the chest of Panchal on the Siege Bundle by 500%. We used the third method that reduced the supports, then increased the scale, then left it hollow and added some extra supports, because before the distance between the supports pillars that used to be 3mm became much larger, requiring more supports. This model, which without using any technique to reduce the use of resin, would use almost 650 grams, now use less than 180 grams of resin. This is a significant saving, since we spend approximately 20 minutes to perform all the modifications and add more supports. But enough chit-chat! Increasing a few percentages is far from a full-scale model. Of course, we did that, and if you're interested in knowing the process we run, we'll have a full video about it soon. But here's a small sample of what we are preparing for you. Yuten, our first free STL file, is a symbol for it, which is now a big statue. Welcome everyone who arrives here at Lut's new headquarters. It's from the feet to the top of the hammer, 5 foot 2, or 1 meter and 60 centimeters. In height, to reach this size, we increased the scale by 4,500% compared to the 32 millimeters miniature. I hope this video helps you, and of course, if you ever make a big piece, don't forget to tag Loot Studios on social media because we were very happy to see your creations. Also, don't miss out on any extra content we have there for you. I'm waiting for you in the next video. We'll show you some options to level your 3D printer.